When Marcin Patrizale came on the America's Got Talent stage for the first time, judges and viewers alike were left stunned in their seats because of his unquestionably amazing talent. The young singer who hails from Poland is a bit of a prodigy, but that has only encouraged him to work harder to ensure that his talent is recognized and celebrated. From the beginning of his career to now, Marcin Patrizelek has managed to achieve what many can not even dream of achieving in their whole lives. And despite not winning season 14 of America's Got Talent, a fairly recent season of the show, Marcin Patrizelek has managed to become an AGT success story already. So join us as we take a look at what really happened to Marcin Patrizelek from America's Got Talent. There is nothing more exciting than discovering your passion at a young age by complete accident. And that is exactly what happened to Marcin Patrzalek from Kielce, Poland, when he was a young boy. As someone who loved music as much as Marcin, his dad supported and encouraged him to start practicing. The story of how he found his classical guitar teacher, Jerzy Picor, is an interesting one, because Marcin's dad first ran into his old friend, who was also a classical teacher, but refused to teach Marcin because apparently he hated kids. In a later interview, Marcin talked about how it was such an odd thing to say, but nevertheless, he gave Marcin's father Jersey's number, and the rest is history. It didn't take Marcin long to get into the instrument and impress his new teacher, who was eager to encourage the young boy to enter into the contest as early as three months into their lessons. But what's especially impressive here is that Marcin, as young as he was, was still a little too old to have started the study of classical music when he did. So, when Marcin won his first ever tournament, he felt motivated to keep going. Eventually, after a few years that he would later describe as being development-heavy, he started to find classical music a little bit boring because of just how repetitive it was. He also felt that playing classical music was unoriginal because there was very little opportunity to be creative in the space. So, eventually, he moved on to flamenco and started online tutelage under Spanish guitarist Carlos Piñana, who seemed impressed with Marcin's prodigal talent as well, something that flattered Marcin, who was now a teenager and extremely excited that a touring musician was now his trainer. He has since spoken about how playing flamenco felt less rigid and restrictive than playing classical, since there are fewer rules to follow. This is also when he started playing and experimenting with percussive finger style on an acoustic guitar. After four years had passed, Marcin had gained mastery of both genres. His parents gifted him an acoustic guitar, a gift that no one in the family could have predicted would change everything. Marcin believes that an acoustic guitar has limitless possibilities, and quickly switched to training in that form. This was made especially more interesting by the fact that he could incorporate his own classical and flamenco techniques into his percussive guitar playing to understand how to elevate his practice. Around this time, he also competed in the ninth edition of the Polish TV competition Must Be The Music, which he won just after one year of self-taught practice. As if this wasn't impressive enough, he also started creating electronic music on his own and combined it with guitar playing, a musical device prominently featured in his debut album released the next year. In 2016, Marcin released his debut LP Hush, an album with 10 pieces, of which six were fully original tracks consisting of the acoustic guitar with electronic and orchestral production elements. Hush also had two arrangements, two electric remixes, and was released independently and distributed under the Polish label My Music. In the same year, he also started appearing in more competitions like ending up a finalist in the international fingerstyle competition Guitar Masters, something that allowed him more recognition in the music world. He continued participating in competitions after releasing his album and even ended up winning first prize in the International Classical Guitar Walk in Rodrigo competition. The very next year, he signed up to be the official ambassador of Ibanez Guitars. As a user of the product himself, specifically the AE900NT model at the time, Marcin was naturally the perfect person for the job. He also started posting videos of himself on YouTube where he'd play solo guitar arrangements, and unsurprisingly, the video started gaining more and more views, gradually catapulting Marcin to fame. In fact, his 2016 arrangement of Toxicity by System of a Down became one of his first videos to go viral, with tens of millions of views soon after being posted. His rise in fame also meant that he was invited to join more campaigns and be a part of more projects and product endorsements like Fishman and Elixir Strings. He also participated in a major talent show in 2018, something more than just a local music competition. In the fifth edition of 2CK Veils in Italy, Marcin was victorious and ended up taking the impressive prize home. 
For him to be able to have done that, he would have had to blow the judges away in his very first performance, and his performance of Beethoven's Fifth Symphony arrangement did just that. Throughout the show, he kept one-upping himself with one performance after another, and even managed to get himself a standing ovation from all four judges for the first time in the show's history. His win meant that he was able to release yet another album, technically an EP titled Revamp, which was essentially just a compilation record of all his most well-loved arrangements. He also released a single in 2018 titled Baba Yaga, which currently has 1.4 million views on YouTube. He started traveling around Europe once he realized he needed to spread his wings. For someone like Marcin Patrzalek to join America's Got Talent in the middle of traveling and gaining widespread recognition was a vital strategic move that would expose him to more international audiences. So, in 2019, Marcin Patrzalek auditioned for the 14th season of America's Got Talent, and his medley of Beethoven's Fifth Symphony and System of a Down's Toxicity on the guitar impressed the judges so much that it was yeses all across the table for the young musician. He made it through the judge cuts as well, with a beautiful original arrangement of Isaac Albaniz's Astorius on the guitar, a performance that got him standing ovations from all four judges on the panel. Now that he was in the quarterfinals, he decided to play his own arrangement of Paganini's Caprice No. 24 on the guitar with the Safari's Wipeout, which was another standing ovation performance that sent him to the semi-finals. We also know how his arrangement of Ed Sheeran's Shape of You on the guitar was not enough to save him from elimination, despite the standing ovations, so he left the show with his head held high. Despite not winning the competition, Marcin had received enough general exposure to have a record deal waiting for him right after his elimination from the show. He soon signed an exclusive contract with Sony Masterworks, which is a division of Sony Music. He released two singles under the label Moonlight Sonata, a fan favorite, and one of his most popular releases, Snow Monkey, which contains heavy reggaeton influences that were very experimental for Marcin and his fans. It wasn't until the world shut down a few years ago that Marcin really became a well-known musician. Throughout a couple of years, he managed to gain millions of followers on social media platforms like Instagram and TikTok due to his increased activity. He currently has about 18 million followers on TikTok and 1.32 million on Instagram. He uploads regular updates about music-related things and his personal life to keep his fans satisfied. His TikTok videos are more informal as he uploads more casual videos there. Besides the social media stuff, Marcin seems to be doing pretty well, as far as career stuff is concerned, since in March of 2022 he was a special guest at a series of seven concerts at the Royal Albert Hall in London as part of the classical spectacular show. And being a bigger musician means that he now has the opportunity to collab with artists he truly likes and works with the people he has always drawn inspiration from. His first collab was with Ichika Nito, a Japanese guitarist with whom he dueled in a video that currently has over 3 million views. Since then, he's released another video with the singer on his channel. Despite using an AE900NT for most of his acoustic guitar career, by 2022 Marcin Patrzalek was ready to launch his own guitar, one that was sure to surpass the AE900NT when it came to his own musical preferences. With the brand Ibanez, Marcin created his first ever signature guitar the MRC-10, a piece that was released in October of 2022. The guitar boasted a sleek body with a very solid structure, one that can even handle Marcin's percussive antics in its entirety. Not only that, it's quite a regular good quality guitar, but much more elevated and personalized. It even has a reinforced wood plate scratch pad to accommodate Marcin's body tapping, and a white mother of pearl rosette combined with red flame-inspired elements for body binding. It also has a street price of an estimated $1,499. All this to say, Marcin Patrzalek, young as he is, has achieved a lot in his professional career already, and from where we're standing, he does not even seem close to stopping. It's clear that the young musician has a true passion and love for what he does, and the genuine excitement he displays in each one of his performances is part of why so many are rooting for him to become a legend in the music world.